Hey guys, welcome back to Mezzy Attempts the Iron Man Challenge. I, today I'm joined by LJ. Hello there. <laughs> um, as you can see, I've gone to Blood Mist Isle. I've already done one quest here. It was a traveling quest, so that's why I didn't record it. I just had to warn people at the Azure Mist Isle about the Blood Elf invasion. So, um, LJ, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, sure, I'll tell a little bit about myself. Uh, well, I'm LJ, short for Long John Silver. L. John Silver, actually, because the rest didn't fit. Thank you, World of Warcraft. But, uh, yeah, uh, been a player from the game for about seven years now. Not from the way beginning, about like half a year in, into it. Uh, I've started at uh, Warrior, but I abandoned that, and now I've been happily playing my Paladin for about uh, six, six and a half years. Uh, I know Messi from Bridge Burners. We raided like two years, three years together. Not sure. Two. Two years, yeah. Yeah, yeah greatest accomplishment, uh, getting the uh, Lich King 25 man down. I uh, still appreciate Realm riding. First. Uh, Very important. Realm first, of course, of course, but uh, that <laughs> was. Uh, that's logical, of course, with us too. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still probably uh, riding uh, invisible now and then, just to poke at you there, Messi. Invincible. But you can't even get the freaking name right. Hey, I'm a foreigner. I don't care. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, uh, since uh, almost a year now, since last year's March, I retired uh, raiding, spent more time on social life, but still playing the game uh, now and then, mostly leveling, gearing up the. Uh, Paladin with friends and such, so more fun now than actually raiding. And yeah, yeah that's that's pretty much my story. All right, so um, LJ will be joining me very regularly uh, in these recordings uh, to have someone to talk to. Really, it's kind of he's, boring he's, to do this alone. He's that bored that he invited me. I mean, yep. that guy, that kind of a friend I am. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, LJ can see the screen as well while I'm recording this, so it'll all make sense somehow. Now I just have yeah. to kill the hatchlings because they're alien predators, and um, I have to get pears. Yay, more. Collecting quests. I've uh, been there, done that two or three times. I think I have th two or three Jedi, so. Okay, I only have one Jedi. So, and that was since the Burning Crusade. I haven't been back since. Except for Mezzi to get the quest achievement. Uh, yeah, I didn't go that far. I, I have quite some achievements, but stuff like that, no thanks. I'm just a more of a leveling guy. I have. 685s at the moment, and the rest are all. That's more than me. Well, I, and the, I have three 80s above and one 58. That's the warlock. So you can see which class I dislike the most at the moment. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's each uh, each choice. Of course, I enjoy the paladin and hunter the most. Really, I tried playing the mage. Also, uh, hunters are awesome. There's no. Yeah, they are. It. They are, even though they uh, Blizzard has changed them every time they could, which is a bit disappointing, but yeah. yeah. I I'll keep my frustration about the focus system out of this. <laughs> yeah, because that will that'll go on for like five episodes, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Um, yeah. I did the uh, Stranglethorn uh, fishing contest a bit earlier today. Oh, yeah. I was three freaking fish short of winning and that's only because I got like 15 non-contest fish so yep I tried that a couple times extremely aggravating yeah I tried the, the what's it called Kaluak uh, yeah the Kaluak fishing day I also da tried that a couple times because of the ring so heirloom yeah. for that link but nah. yeah the Kaluak one is much much more luck based though the yeah, true, but with the shark. Yeah. Oh well, everybody needs a bit of luck now and then, but uh, doesn't seem to be with me when fishing. 
Though I do have the turtle, also a Pokachu there. Uh, <laughs> so many thousands of casts. <laughs> Neither the dark herring for the one that got away, nor oh. the uh, turtle. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh, I don't have the dark herring or uh, the one that got away either. I still need a few for the salty achievement, but I gave up on that one long ago. Hey, look, a quest giver in the, in the cage. Yeah. So, um, what what kind of pet do you have now? A moth? A moth. It's the standard uh, Dronai hunter starting pet. What kind of a uh, pet is that? I don't know actually. Is it uh, neither do I. Neither. Oh, you don't have a frosty. But no, I'm not allowed to use the. No, of course uh, I know, but uh, still. Pet talentry. Are you uh, going to stay with the moth, or are you going to get a bear? I'm going to get a bear. Yeah, I thought so. Those are the best tanks. Uh, but I'm not going. I'm not near a city for to get the uh, thingamajig. Um, what you call it? Stable master or something, or uh, you mean tame pets or what? No, I have tame pets. Um, yeah. What is it I'm looking for? Oh yeah, uh, stable master exactly. Oh, stable master. Okay, yeah. Woohoo, level 13. That's man. Yeah. Just, just uh, 72 more to go. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> going to take a while, especially with the late levels. But yeah, I don't get the second slot, a pet slot, until level 18, I think. Ah, and, okay. And uh, I'm not near a stable master, as far as I know. So I'm just going to keep the moth, and once I get the second pet slot, I'll switch to a bear. A uh, yeah. tank will be useful, I think. Yeah, definitely, if you're not allowed to die, I mean, uh, you can best get the tank and sacrifice him then. Yeah, exactly. How often has our pets not sa have our pets not saved our hides? Oh, yeah. many, many times. Yeah, it's okay, you die, I'll revive you later, but if I die, no way, that costs gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Supposed to get the key. Let's see. Um, ah, I just need to kill lots and lots of these fur bugs, and then a mob will appear for the key to save the princess still mine. Really? A pr I have to save a princess. So typical. Uh, women. Oh wait, I, I, I shouldn't say that for our uh, viewers. Uh, I take that back. I'm sure they'll appreciate the humor. Oh well, uh, I'm not sure. And if sure. not, tough luck. <laughs> okay, I I, uh, I take distance from what every everything that Messi says. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Oh well. Uh, I'm actually doing instance now tanking and uh, it's what actually failing a bit. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay. Uh, well of Eternity. Well of Eternity isn't banned. No, but uh, some groups are. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why I try not to plug at all, ever. Well, when you don't raid anymore, you need to plug sometimes. Yeah, true. And it can be fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like rule number one in World of Warcraft, don't stand in the fire, and what did they do? They stood in the fire. No. Really? Yep, the fell fire storm. Oh, oh wow. That's, uh... Oh, at the last boss. Yeah. Yep, when at the last people boss. People need to understand that you're not supposed to move, uh, you are, correction, you are supposed to move continuously during the fell fire storm. Yeah, exactly. Just but like the, the tier, what is it, 11 boss in Baird and Hold? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, our, uh, Druid Feral DPS did that 7k on, uh, the whole instance. Yeah, he died, so that's not big, big of a loss, but the mage died as well, so. Oh well. We'll get through. Yeah. It is pretty easy. So how them four books treating you? They're not letting the chief or whatever it is spawn that I need to kill to get the key. Oh, okay. Which is why I hate drop rating stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Later on, you can also maybe get a Ravager of that place if you want. They're also nice pets, not as great, but uh, they're pretty good. Well, they're only really useful for the 4% uh, physical. physical. Yeah. Other than that, they're, they're meh. There are better pets, aren't there? True, but they look cool, man. I have a blue one. It's called Looks won't matter until Blizzard makes the change that any pets can have any pet talent tree. Are they going to implement that then, yeah? I remember something about that a few years ago. Yeah, but they they always do stuff like that. I like Blizzard, but yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to implement it like this, and two weeks later, now we're going to do it like this. So, yeah. That's that's with every development studio, of course, but still can be quite annoying. Might as well start luring for a bulk to here while there aren't any response. Yay, he spawned. And then you died. <laughs> of Aww. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> You're really rooting for me, aren't you? Of course, I've always been rooting for you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you actually invited me for this, but yeah. <laughs> I'm always like this to you. <laughs> yeah. I actually did some old instances yesterday with a couple of uh, uh, guys from other guilds yeah. that I'm now riding with. Did Black Temple and such, so for transmogrification. Got a few nice items, but uh, not the ones I really wanted. But uh, new chances next week. It took me weeks and weeks to get the bow from Illidan for transmog. Uh, that one actually dropped yesterday. <laughs> well, I have it now. Oh, did it drop? Now the one from Archimon dropped, by the way. That that one's also pretty good. But well, that one, yeah. My, yeah, it's okay, but my. Uh, Void storage is already practically full, and oh, my yeah. bank is already also again practically full. I have many, many, many transmogrification uh, sets. And you only have one armor set. I mean, I'm a paladin. I yep. I have three armor sets. I know. And my bank is even full yet. But I'm trying to have a different armor set, transmog set for each kill video. So, uh, a, uh, Easter egg in the okay. COVID. Okay. But that's already failed because on one night we got two new heroic kills, so both were recorded with the same armor set. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> well, back Go to the progress. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what's important? Progress or gear uh, looks? Gear looks, of course. Come on, man. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I really wonder how they're going to uh, still get uh, all the Naga into the uh, with Queen Ashara into WoW because I'm Lord pretty like sure it. they're connected to um, whatchamacallit Nazoth and I would be very surprised if the Shah in Miss of Pandaria aren't also caused by uh, Nazoth so it would be a really uh, old god heavy themed expansion if yeah. they're still going to also use Queen Asher, which they will have to undoubtedly. And we know that the Zandalari trolls will be returning in Miss Pandaria as well. So I kind of feel like we already know what all the uh, bosses, all the enemies of Mists are going to be because you have the Mogul, the Mantid, the Shah, and then we know there's going to be the Zondalari Trolls there as well. And yeah. then if you want, they still want to put Queen Ashara in as well, I think that kind of fills the entire expansion already. I will see how they pull it off. Most of the times they pull it off. I don't like Cataclysm, but... Uh Law wise, it's such that uh, they, mo- most of the times they get it right. Yeah, they really didn't do Deathwing justice. 
in Cataclysm. Well, no, they could have done it better, to be honest. But like I said, I don't like the Cataclysm expansion. I'm still more of a Burning Crusade kind of guy. Yeah, same here. Um, what didn't you like about Cataclysm? What did what? Well, uh, you can r- rather ask what did I like because <laughs> there's not much that I did really like that much about mm-hmm. Cataclysm from the start off like the the instances the the repeating of Onyxia and Nefarian and such it, it gave like the same feeling like uh, start of Wrath of Lich King oh let's revamp Na- Nexramas and there'll be uh, content for the couple of, first couple of months I have to disagree with you on that point because sure we did see um What's her face? Onexia and Farian, but it was a completely different encounter. True that, but it's 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 like the like I want the like I want the I want to call the the kill thus syndrome. Uh, everything's everything nowadays merely a setback. The, the, it's like in future um, expansions, you can almost expect that they're going to bring back Illidan somehow. They're going to bring back Arthur somehow, just to to. Milk that cow and uh, get more yeah. money. I, would, I that's was what, that's about to ask you, how would you feel about them bringing back Illidan? Because as you know, at BlizzCon there was talk of that. I I must admit, Illidan, uh, both Illidan and Arthur, but I like Illidan more. Uh, Illidan is my favorite character of all times. So I don't know why, but uh, just his story, lore-wise, and uh, everything fascinates me about him. Yeah. And I, uh, yeah, I would like to see him back, but. Uh, in a better manner than they did with Nefarian and Kilthus and such, because uh, that's just uh, let's add a patch, let's do some, uh, let's rewrite the content, and let's get this going. That's the, that's the feeling I had. Yeah, but I do assume they learned from those experiences. I'm sure they got a lot of com- community feedback about that as well. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Uh, probably true as well, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still wondering. I, I, at the moment, it's more like I, I, if they if I see that they'll, they they did good, then I'll be uh, a happy person. But uh, for, for the rest, of it, if they see yeah, uh, say uh, yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to implement that and we're going to do it like this so that everybody's happy, I don't believe those stories that much anymore like I used to uh, five, six, seven years ago. Because yeah, it doesn't always turn out the way people want it to be, and that's of course perfectly natural with with games and developing a game that's uh, how many people? 10 million? 12 people? Uh, 10.3 million. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it went a bit back, but... Um, yeah, I saw that the Star Wars The Old Republic now has 1.7 million active subscribers. Yeah, I saw that as well. I, uh, must, uh, like you know, I played this, mm-hmm. I played the game for actively for a month, but after that, um, it's hard to compare, of course, with uh, World of Warcraft. Well, it's hard and not yeah. hard to compare, but yeah, you, still, it's, it's hard to compare any game with WoW because WoW is a titan with seven to almost eight years, maybe now, of yeah. experience in you know game design, and exactly. so it it'll really be hard for any MMO to go against WoW. But I don't really think people should compare any other no, game to WoW. The, the uh, problem MMOs is MMOs should be able to. Uh, Live alongside each other. True, true, but the, yeah, that's one problem, of course, now because every other MMO that's coming now uh, on the market is trying to get in that same pool of gamers as World of Warcraft. A lot of uh, MMOs uh, like Rift uh, copied some things from uh, WoW. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes now because uh, and get hate mails for her saying that Rift looks like WoW, but. Uh, it, 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 the thing is, uh, everything has to look like WoW nowadays because WoW has the winning uh, formula for the past it eight, has set seven, the eight standard. Eight. Uh, exactly, has set, has set the standard uh, that what people like and what attracts people to a game and it keeps them there most of the time. Except the of course, but okay. Um, so yeah, I, I can get that a lot of people wanted either do it. A lot like WoW, or do it exactly different. And Star Wars tried to do it li- exactly, uh, or exactly different. That's saying it wrong, but no, I don't care. Um, they tried their best, and I must admit they did a pretty good job. I am a huge fan of Bioware, and everything they make is pure gold in my eyes. Now again with Mass Effect 3, mm-hmm. but um, it's just 
difficult to make a game. The thing is, uh, the, the content that they now brought out, the end tier rating content, yeah. there's only, there are only like a, a couple of instances. There's two instances. The first, they all, uh, one of the two was only one boss, but they, uh, uh, made that four bosses in the first uh, patch, so they're, they're certainly working on it and making it better and bigger. But like people comparing, uh, I was doing this myself, uh, comparing it to like the start of WoW vanilla. Yeah. And th I think that's a good thing to do because WoW started somewhere as well. But at the moment, you ca just can't do that because a lot of people um, are actually coming from that pool of WoW gamers and going to that uh, sw uh, sweater, we'll just call it sweater for the moment, mm -hmm. um, uh, for that game. But um, you just can't compare it like that because there's so much content more at the moment in World of Warcraft that can keep, them, uh, can keep people busy. Yeah. Uh, it's unrealistic to really just compare the two uh, rating-wise. And what I'd like to add to that is that... Uh, Yes, it's worth comparing start of uh, WoW to the start of Sweater, but Sweater has also learned from WoW's mistakes, just like WoW learns from other MMOs that try to break through what works, what doesn't, what can they implement in WoW to uh, improve WoW. Exactly, and I think they did learn a lot from that. They did really look like uh, look at the competition and uh, say to themselves, how can we uh, do this different or how can we improve? But still not not quite enough, to be honest. Uh, I must admit that the ratings, uh, the, the, the what was it called? Fault of Eternity or something was called. I'm not sure anymore. It's been a while for me now. Um, the raid was pretty fun. The, the end boss was also good. It was uh, a good tactic-wise fight, but Still, nowadays every boss looks like something either from World of Warcraft or they look like uh, each other. Like they had a gimmick fight, they had uh, fights that uh, uh, they have a fight that every player uh, goes against one other NPC and such. I mean, most of those fights have already been in World of Warcraft one way or the other. And if you're trying to get people out of the same player pool as World of Warcraft you're going to get a lot of reactions that oh I've already uh, I've already done this in World of Warcraft uh, I wanted something new uh, to see it, just, uh, see it as World of Warcraft with lightsabers is a totally wrong analogy because it's, it's so much more but also at the same time so much less if you can get what I mean yeah okay we're going to cut the recording here off we've already been going for 25 minutes it hasn't been that long? Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're uh, level 13 and a half, okay. <laughs> yeah, 13 and a half. Gained one and a half levels. Um, we didn't really talk about what happened in the game. Doesn't matter. What happened was we killed some Naga, killed some Ravagers, kill, killed some Furbogs, rescued a princess, but this time she wasn't in another castle. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of more quests here in Blust Mid Isle, and we'll continue here next time. So thanks again for watching, comment, subscribe, and also one plug, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to a uh, forum thread I've put on the WoW Dungeons and Raids forums about what I would like to see in uh, uh, future raiding and dungeon content. Um, please uh, look at it as well. and posts in that thread what you would like to see in Dungeons and Raid content. My my own post was about two A4s long. You don't have to read it all unless you want to, but please do uh, post in that thread what you would like to see. So, LJ, thanks for joining me, and thanks for I'll having see me, you again next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.